I have an interesting topic of discussion. Great. Please don't talk about the individual man anymore. We are eating. Yes, just the thought of, of a superhero running around town naked is disturbing, especially when I'm eating chicken some guy. <laughs> we could stay on the invisible topic, though. We could talk about the Aurora Giaffe Alice. I've heard about these. Invisible garbage trucks? Despite their alleged existence, no one is talking about them publicly. Well, that's not entirely true. I saw a news story on Global TV. Ilmar Szymanowski, Director of Infrastructure and Environmental Services for the town of Aurora, claims he has evidence of an invisible GFLE Alice. He insists that an invisible garbage truck was on the street of Aurora, Canada, despite video evidence to the contrary. That's amazing. Amazing that there's invisible garbage trucks? No, amazing that you're not actually still watched for the town of Aurora. <laughs> not at all, Raj. The existence of an invisible garbage truck dates back to the time of modern contracting out. When cities retired their own fleets and hired bottom basement contractors, they started getting reports of these invisible garbage trucks. It's been a mystery for years. But what practical application can an invisible truck have? That's exactly what I was thinking. But maybe it's because garbage trucks are so ugly. If they were all invisible, the streets would look so pretty. Yes, except for all the smashed up cars left behind after they slam into giant invisible 10 ton trucks. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. The name GFL Alice was coined because the existence of the invisible GFL garbage truck was first proposed and insisted upon in Aurora by Ilmar Szymanowskis. It was named as a wordplay to incorporate the town name. It is supposed to sound like the Aurora Borealis. Now once again I ask, and this guy still watch for the town? <laughs> That's a fun fact. Can you pass the spring rolls? You're serious about this. You actually think there's invisible garbage trucks? Leonard, when the town of Aurora says there are invisible garbage trucks, there are invisible garbage trucks. You can't defy the great and powerful masters of Aurora. The great and powerful masters of Aurora? Yes, it is well known that Aurora Mayor Jeffrey Dawes is so powerful, he doesn't even use a computer or respond to emails. He can't send emails? To add to the mystery, special meetings of a secret society of mayors known only as the N6 are held in such a secret location that even the date is unknown. It is almost as mystical as the Billenberg Club or the Masons. Aren't those super secret organizations though? I know I'm not a genius, but isn't government supposed to be transparent and inclusive? Well, it is Canada. Have you ever seen their Prime Minister? <laughs> yeah, well, science is science, and Elmar claims he has GPS logs of the GF Elias. So you can't argue with that. Anyone who doubts him will simply be crushed by the weight of irrefutable facts on a spreadsheet with GPS coordinates. Yes, you can't argue with GPS facts on a spreadsheet. Even human eyes and security cameras cannot refute facts on a spreadsheet. Look, I found surveillance video posted on YouTube by an Aurora resident. It shows nothing though. It's just hours of an empty street. No, Leonard. According to the GPS logs, it's a GFLE Alice. Oh! oh.